Netflix's decision to portray Prince Harry as a Nazi in The Crown has caused him to feel humiliated. According to a reliable insider, the controversy surrounding Prince Harry's Nazi outfit will be addressed in the upcoming season of Netflix's The Crown. According to a royal biographer, Prince Harry is being made fun of by Netflix since the popular series The Crown will include the Duke of Sussex disguised as a Nazi. An insider claims that Harry's 2005 appearance at a fancy dress party while sporting the now famous swastika sign will be recreated for the audience. Royal critic and author Angela Levin called the situation humiliating for Harry on Twitter. Thus, Harry will appear in the upcoming season of The Crown on Netflix wearing his Nazi costume, she explained. They have paid him a hefty sum, so they are free to do whatever they choose. Humiliating. The royal analyst was making reference to a multi-year agreement that Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, signed with Netflix in late 2020, as a result of which they have been releasing content on the website on a regular basis. How the Harry's Nazi uniform scandal came to pass. Following the Duke's appearance in 2005 as an Africa Corps soldier at a native and colonial fancy dress party, Prince Harry became the center of controversy. During World War II, Rommel, a German army lieutenant, commanded the Africa Corps in North Africa. Following the startling occurrence, Prince Harry was shown on the sun's front page with the swastika emblem on his arm. The royal family was obligated to apologize on his behalf as a result of the incident's consequences. One of Harry's more egregious events, according to an insider who spoke to the sun, was eventually addressed by him in December. While older generations will recall the Sun's Harry the Nazi story and image, many of Netflix's younger viewers may not be aware of this earlier chapter in Harry's life. In more recent years, Harry has made accusations about racism in the UK and unconscious bias in the royal family on Netflix. Ironically, Netflix is the one that has brought up this incident. The attire, in retrospect, was probably one of the worst mistakes of my life, according to Harry. I felt very humiliated afterwards," he allegedly said. I only wanted to make it trite. After the debacle, the Duke of Sussex admitted he sought advice from a chief rabbi and a Holocaust survivor in order to correct his error. Harry asserted, I've learned my lesson and that he had done so. If I upset anyone, I sincerely apologize. I want to put it behind us at this point. The work is finished. I'm sorry. But, the Duke recently fueled the flames by alleging in his Frank memoir, Spare, that he sought William and Kate's advice while picking out his fancy dress attire. There were two options. The Nazi uniform or the pilot's costume. When Harry asked to pair their thoughts on his two wardrobe selections, they both howled, according to Harry. The allegations against a prince's behavior were not addressed by Kensington Palace once they were made in another news. Examining the role of Camilla's grandkids in the coronation while George's is yet uncertain, the five grandchildren of the Queen Consort are expected to have a significant influence on King Charles III's coronation in May. The five teens may be tasked with holding the canopy over Queen Camilla during the coronation when she is anointed with holy oil, according to sources. The revelation broke last month, spotlighting King Charles III and Camilla's blended family and their efforts to modernize the monarchy. Commentators have criticized the revelation, however, asking why Prince George, the heir to the throne and Charles's eldest grandson, wasn't included before information regarding the Queen Consort's grandchildren's positions. The royally obsessed podcast's hosts Roberta Fiorito and Rachel Bowie talked about how the King and Queen's grandchildren would participate in the impending coronation. The inclusion of Camilla's family, according to Ms. Bowie, looks lovely, but at the same time, I think there was a little bit of back and forth in the press.